<clears throat> well, I figured it's about time to do a little update. And what's been on my mind is this guy. So while I was building this last dirt cheap sentry gun, the, these are the motors that I settled on. This was eight Newton meters at 100 RPM was what they're rated for. And that I found to be about the minimum that it's possible to uh, really build a system like this with when you start considering all the forces involved and uh, you know reasonable speeds. But as I was you know searching around, I came across this setup, which was like 51 bucks for the geared box and about uh, check my notes 65 for this stepper. And this thing has uh, more than 10 times the torque of this little one with uh, like 20 percent more speed. So you're getting like uh, you're getting a lot more power output, a lot more usable uh, torque. Because these systems are really accelerating and decelerating most of the time. So uh, torque is your friend. Uh, you rarely hit the max speeds. Uh, so this is what uh, the next turret I will be building will be using. Is a slight upgrade. Um, and the system cost will probably go up, um, I don't know, like 100, 200 bucks. Because this thing obviously needs like more uh, thicker steel, bigger plates to use it. <clears throat> But it does have a lot of mounting points, and that has allowed me to simplify the design. So I'll show you that now. <clears throat> uh, I've been playing around with Blender, and it's just a little uh, tool that allows you to animate your CAD, which is kind of nice. Um, allows me to visualize a little bit. And uh, here you can see this is what uh, this motor will get assembled into. So the really beautiful thing is there's no bent plates. It's just one flat plate. So technically with a hand drill and an angle grinder, you could, you could build this thing. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's probably cheaper to have somebody laser cut it, honestly. Um, it's kind of how prices are working out. And then you'll have some little um, pieces that go on each axis here. And so this system will be able, it'll be one of the most powerful systems I built, as well as the simplest and it's the second cheapest. So I hope you guys can understand uh, why I'm so excited about it. Um, it also has some options for a little bit of armor plating and then the electronics. Uh, I think I'm gonna try out a, a little ammo cam for that. So that'll kind of sit back here. <clears throat> and then the electronics will sort of slide in there on these little rails. So you'll assemble your electronics on this bed and uh, slide them right in those racks and close the lid on your ammo can and the cables will uh, egress out the bottom. <clears throat> so anyways, that's, uh, that's the latest. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you are somebody who's uh, gotten access to the files that are out there, um, you know, first off, I really appreciate you all taking the time to, to have a quick phone call. Um, talking to a lot of really, met a lot of really interesting people from, uh, <clears throat> man, really uh, a, a lot of different ideas out there, a lot of different specialties. <clears throat> so it's been really great talking to you all, all, and it's kind of helped me reevaluate what am I, what are my goals for this, and kind of understanding the reality of who wants to work on these systems, who's interested. Uh, while that won't affect my my end goals, uh, it does affect the path I take to get there, <clears throat> and that's why I another reason I really like this sentry design is that I had made some earlier videos about like how to control stepper motors, and I kind of stopped working on that when I switched to the DC motors and the other motor types because <clears throat> I, I felt a little. Um, uh, bad that I'd spent time on those videos and that I wasn't really using that technology, but moving back to these stepper motors in this design helps me realign with the learning series of videos. And so I think this will be a really great platform to continue the learning series to build something that is, you know, like 
uh, I forget what I said, but you know, call it 10 times as powerful, but only maybe a couple hundred bucks more expensive than the dirt cheap, the cheapest Sentry I could imagine. Um, so it's, it's just a lot of things are aligning on this design. And fair warning, I say that on every design. Uh, it's just a constant battle to continue to deceive myself into saying this is the last one, this is going to work really well, to give myself the motivation to do, you know, just hours and hours of, of CAD work. Um, but, yeah, this I think this is the one, guys. This is it. And I'm really excited to get Blender working. One of the things I'd like to do is uh, start getting this into video games. Um, <clears throat> I think that would be really neat to maybe even just have a video game where you could install these on an exact version of your uh, Airsoft base and do, run some scenarios with your, with your friends uh, in a virtual environment. And also just to see through the optics, you could put the actual cameras on there, the actual specs. And you can kind of see what to expect uh, in terms of movement speed and range and all that stuff. So uh, the, getting this Blender thing working is, is really cool as well. Uh, so anyways, that's where I'm at on this project. Uh, in terms of timeline, I've got the steel plates ordered. Uh, I just started working on this like last week. So plates are ordered, motors are ordered. I'm just going through really sorting out the electronics and waiting for parts. But this should use the same top-level machine vision code. It's just the Arduino co code that controls the motor. Instead of controlling this, we're going to be controlling this. So it's kind of just like one little section of the code that will that will change. Um, so yeah, that's where things are at. I appreciate everyone's patience as I've kind of tried to wrap my head around uh, things outside of turrets in terms of giving people access and how I'm going to manage that. So appreciate everyone's patience. And this is the one, guys. This is it. So <laughs> uh, if you've been thinking about building one, I think this is going to be it. I, I will put it together, test it. Uh, if it works good, maybe, maybe even uh, put some armor on it and go shoot it. That's my favorite part. But uh, Yeah, thanks for watching.